Hey everyone, this is Neely with GoDaddy Pro talking to another maker of the web. Today I have Pascal Burschler. I uh, definitely appreciate you coming on and giving us a little bit of insight about who you are, what you do, and some tips along the way. Oh, hey, uh, thanks for having me. Um, so yeah, my name is Pascal and I'm a longtime WordPress contributor. I've been using WordPress since I've been 12 years old. That's when I built my first website. And I currently, <laughs> thank you. And I currently work at Google as a developer programs engineer uh, on a lot of WordPress related projects. So you started at, at 12 years old. What, what made you start that website? What was that website about? For some reason, the web sparked my interest and uh, I wanted to learn um, how to build websites. So my first website was really uh, all about me and my, my hobbies. And, and then I started blogging. So I, uh, blocked about exams at school and things like that. So you've been doing this quite a long time. What are some of the, the, the big changes that you've seen come from the, the WordPress ecosphere? Um, I've certainly seen uh, lots of change in the WordPress uh, ecosystem and uh, even in, in WordPress itself. Um, it, like today, it's very professionalized. Like we have lots of big companies doing lots of awesome work with WordPress. Um, back then that wasn't the case and WordPress wasn't, uh, wasn't that uh, nice looking as well. Um, and if you look at recent history, I think the, the change to Gutenberg, the, the blog editor in WordPress was uh, one of the most significant changes for sure in WordPress. Right on. What are some of the, the most recent things you've been working on lately? Anything you want to kind of show off or highlight? Two things I would I like to highlight. Um, the first one is uh, the new XML sitemaps feature in WordPress core that I helped develop. Um, that was just um, released as part of WordPress 5.5. Mm -hmm. And the second thing is um, web stories, which is a project I've been working on for quite a while and is also my topic for uh, the word session presentation. And web stories is a, a new format for the open web. So it brings a format you might already know from, let's say, Instagram, it brings that format to the web, allowing everyone to create these uh, immersive storytelling experiences, um, but they can be hosted on your website. That's awesome. Yeah. Kind of gives that, that behind the scenes or just just in the moment type, get awesome content all the time to your website. That's pretty cool. Do you have any fun side projects you've been working on lately? Uh, so there's a, a pet project of mine um, that I'm really passionate about. And I'm actually I've been working on it uh, occasionally for the last three years or so. And I'm trying to translate WordPress into a not very known language uh, called Romance. Um, it's actually one of the four official languages of Switzerland. Um, so I'm Swiss and uh, for some reason that was dear to my heart to translate WordPress into this language that only uh, 100,000 people approximately speak. And uh, we've been making good progress. So it was at 30% completion um, two years ago and now we're at 60%. Uh, I hope we get to uh, 100 by the end of the year. That's fantastic. Yeah, WordPress is already translating so many languages. It's it's great to see that you're continuing it and making sure WordPress is accessible for everyone. Where do you, where, like WordPress has obviously changed a lot. Where do you see WordPress going in the next, I don't know, five years? Um, so languages uh, is actually uh, one point where WordPress uh, apparently will make uh, big changes in the future. So it's one of the, the goals or one of the phases that Matt Monovec has called out in the past. Uh, so we're going to see um, some multi-lingual uh, uh, capabilities for WordPress. Um, but I'm more excited about the uh, full site editing approach that WordPress is exploring, which basically brings the, the Gutenberg block editor to all parts of your website. And I think this is going to have a really, really big impact on how we build sites with WordPress. Right. So with that, you mean like, so we can edit, say the navigation, the archive pages, everything? Everything. Correct. Wow. That I, I can't wait personally. <laughs> 
Well, uh, where, where can people find you if they want to kind of get in touch and kind of see the projects you're working on? Um, so I'm usually tweeting about everything I'm currently working on. Um, and my, my Twitter handle is Swiss Spidey or Swiss Speedy. And that's, that's also my uh, purpose.org username, for example. Uh, that's probably the, the best way to um, stay up to date. Perfect. Well, I definitely appreciate you uh, coming on here and, and talking us through kind of what you do and just WordPress in general. Uh, I'm Neely with GoDaddy Pro. We'll see you next time.